In this video I'm going to speak about how you can manage your remote computer using Windows Remote Management Service. If you remember my previous video, I was doing it using PS Tools and I was doing basically the same things. I was managing remotely a computer, thus changing firewall settings or viewing some network settings of the remote computer. So today I'm going to speak about Windows Remote Management Service and uh, because Windows comes installed with this service you don't have to basically install anything. Well first, in order to use this service you will have to configure it. So you will have to run the following command on both computers. The one that you manage and the one that you manage the computer from and the actual computer which is going to be managed. So let's run this win, winrm quick config. Well here it shows that Windows remote management is already set up to receive requests on this machine and it's set up for remote management on this machine. This is because I already ran this command before. In your case it will show you it will ask you if you want to configure this service. So you have to enter yes in order to configure it. Basically what it does this command it uh, configures the firewall exception and it start, starts the service and then it does a couple of other things uh, so you can use this service. Let's go to another machine and run the same command there. Here I also run this command so you see the same output. Uh, I want to mention that in this uh, case I'm using Windows 7 and Windows 2008 so uh, two different operating systems and this is important to know because uh, Windows 7 and Windows 2008 R2 have changed their listener port for this service so you will have to configure Windows 7 in my case I'm using Windows 7 so I'll have to configure it to use a compatibility listener on port 80 so let's run, this is right now is Windows 7 let's run the following command here Windows RM set win RM equals true. Okay, now we enable this listener, so these two computers should be able to communicate without a problem. Also, because uh, Windows 7 uses Windows RM 2.0 and PowerShell, PowerShell 2.0, we will have to install the same version of, of Windows Remote Management Service and Windows po PowerShell on Windows 2008. So, I downloaded this update and installed it. You can see it here. I will also post links uh, below for the downloads and for more instructions so it would be clearer for you guys. Okay, so now we have, after we configured this Windows Remote Management Service and we've installed the update on Windows 2008 and configured Compatibility Listener on port 80 on Windows 7 we can actually start configuring or viewing some configuration of the remote computer. So we use Windows Remote Shell to configure 
the remote server or to view some information about the remote computer, I'm sorry. Uh, so, also you can use uh, Windows PowerShell for that, but in my case I'm going to use Common Prompt and Windows Remote Shell. So you type the following comment and then you type the computer name. MySQL. So now you can view the network configuration of the remote computer. You can as well run any kind of command with Windows Remote Shell and it will and you can do the same thing uh, from the other computer as well. Basically run the same commands for this for this computer which is database server. So I wanted also to mention that if these two computers aren't in the same Active Directory domain, you will have to configure trusted hosts for the computer from which you manage, the remote computer. So you have to add to the trusted hosts the remote computer. And that way it would uh, let you configure the remote computer. I will post all this information down below so you guys can check it. Okay, thank you for listening.